Hi there, and today we're looking at another VIP keyring. So not long ago I did a short video on the Lego Star Wars VIP keyring which was Han Solo in Carbonite and I really like that keyring and so that's this one here. If you want to have a look at the review um, I'll put a link to it down below. But there you go, it was a lovely chunky keyring and I really really thought it was a good gift with purchase um, to come with uh, Star Wars Lego. Um, but recently Lego have just released this one too. Now this isn't a gift with purchase, this is um, on the Lego website you can redeem your VIP points for this one um, and it cost me uh, 900 points which is about uh, five pounds in UK money um, and it comes in a very similar box to the Star Wars one as you'll see. Um, on the back of it you've got again Lego, it says keychain, contains one, this is not a toy. Um, so very similar to this one, the black Han Solo one had the Lego VIP, this just says Lego on it, although this is um, only for VIPs definitely because you can't get it unless you have some VIP points. But if we open it up you'll see it's a lovely silver plate keyring. And again just like the other one it's in this nice firm foam box, in, uh, so the insert in the blue box. And again, it's a really chunky, heavy weight um, piece of uh, metal. Um, it's un unlike the Han Solo one. This is its traditional, or more commonplace, uh, shiny keyring. They sort of weathered this one to make it look more like a gunmetal grey to match the Han Solo keyring. But this one's lovely and shiny, just like the regular keyrings you get. Um, this flat type keyring, which I um, really prefer to the regular sort of keyrings you get on um, most keyrings nowadays. I like the Lego style of one. Um, and just to give you an idea, so it's very thin, it's not um, a brick, it's a, definitely a plate, it's probably a bit thinner than a plate would be if it was in proportion. And on the back, like the uh, Han Solo one, it says Lego VIP, if we compare that with the Han Solo, you can see, there we go, so the difference between the shiny VIP and the sort of the gunmetal Lego VIP one here. And if we compare it, I did a comparison with Han Solo with the actual um, Han, Han Solo and Carbonite Lego uh, piece. And then here we are, if we compare this in size with a regular 2x4 plate, you can see the size, so it's probably, I don't know, 3 quarters of the size of the actual plate, which is probably approximately the size in reverse of the Han Solo one. So the um, Han Solo metal block is about three quarters of the size of the actual plastic Han Solo and carbonate. So this is the other way around. The plastic brick is about three quarters of the size of the keyring. But again, I think this is a really nice gift with purchase. If you um, want one of these, you can only get them through VIP if you've got VIP points. And like I said, it costs 900 points, which is about um, five pounds in UK money. Um, but you can only redeem one per VIP, so I've redeemed mine, I can't get another one. If I want another one, the only place to go is obviously the secondary market, and these are already selling for £15 upwards on eBay, so I've seen, cheapest I've seen is about £15, most is, I've seen is about £25 to £30 um, on eBay, so I would imagine their price will sort of level out somewhere in the middle. But um, if you want one of these, uh, either 900 points or it's the secondary market. But again, I think it's a really another nice VIP um, sort of gift. Well, not gift, you're spending your VIP points. But I do tend to think that um, spending your VIP points on something like this, it's, um, if you want it for an investment, um, it can only... Um, in, um, sort of increase in value more than regular Lego can. So personally, I would spend my VIP points on nice things like this rather than just regular Lego, as often you can get a similar discount um, on places like Amazon um, as you can with your VIP points. So there we have it, another exclusive VIP item. I think it's well worth spending the points on it. Let me know what you think. Do you prefer to spend VIP points on Lego itself or the other things that they come up with to spend our points on? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and always do subscribe for more Lego videos.